This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is part two of our HP TouchSmart TM2 video review. This is the TouchSmart TM2 1070 US, which is the retail model that will be available in stores, as opposed to the build to order. We're going to take a look at drawing and painting today. First, we're going to look at Photoshop CS4, which has pressure support for the Wacom pen tablet that this machine uses. So this is for you graphic artist types out there. And first we're just going to open a photograph. This is a, a 6 meg image file that was taken with an 8 megapixel point and shoot, just so you can see the speed when working with images. First we'll do a auto contrast adjustment. It was pretty quick. I'll try an image rotation. We'll flip it 180. Also fine. And now we're going to apply a filter. We'll pick one of the artistic filters. Those usually are pretty demanding. And we'll go with a palette knife. This is the Core 2 Duo SU7300 processor running at 1.3 gigahertz. It's two cores, single threading on each core. You have an option of getting a 1.6 gigahertz, but the performance here is pretty decent, considering. Okay, now that we've looked at just manipulating an image, we're just going to start with a fresh image so you can actually see the pen strokes, because I'm going to demonstrate the pressure sensitivity. I've zoomed in sufficiently. This supports pen pressure in Photoshop. Doing a moderate stroke now. I'm going to do a heavy stroke. You can see the difference right there. Very light stroke. And then we're going to pick something a little thinner. That's a heavy stroke. The first one was a light. And here's another light stroke. It's a heavy stroke. What if I didn't like that line? We've got eraser support too. This has the eraser on the back. That works just fine in Photoshop. Supports pressure in Photoshop, it doesn't support the tilting pen feature. So as you can see, it works good in Photoshop CS4. Next we're going to take a look at Corel Painter 11. Here we are in Corel Painter 11. Obviously I'm using this in landscape mode. You can use it in any mode that you want, but I've got the battery hump section up top here, and I find that actually creates just a subtle tilt. It's, it's not at all uncomfortable. In fact, I actually like it a little bit better than just flat. I'm going to open up a picture I was working on earlier. It was a sketch after Rubens. And now I'm going to do a little bit more with his hair. Go to something darker. I'm using a 2B pencil right now so that it's pretty thin. But you can't really tell the pressure sensitivity with a line that's that thin, so we're going to switch to something like big old greasy pencil. And now you can see it's got the natural media schmear and it's heavy stroke there, light stroke there. I'll do it off the canvas on the side. Medium stroke, heavy stroke, light stroke. So it's working quite well. Again, the eraser works here. So that's the HP TouchSmart TM2 in Corel Painter 11. Next we're going to take a look at ArtRage 2.5 Starter Edition. This is the free version of ArtRage. Think of it as Baby Painter. It's popular because it's free. So we'll start out with the oil tool and we'll make it a little bit smaller. Light touch. Heavy touch. Pressure sensitivity is not that impressive. You can see I get a little increase in the opacity when I go lighter. But in Art Rage we're not seeing a huge amount. But it's enough to get natural media kind of feel. You start out with a thin stroke, you get fatter, you can do it like so. Just a palette knife.
take a look at the pencil real quick. But the pencil, I don't see much pressure sensitivity at all. So Art Rage, the least exciting. You do get some natural media feel, but it's really not seriously pressure sensitive the way Corel Painter are in Photoshop. Now we're going to take a look at Corel Painted Touch Edition. So Corel Painted Touch Edition comes free with the notebook. This is for finger painting. So you serious artists, you're probably not going to get into this. But for those of you who like finger painting, So here's our canvas, got the oil selected. The interesting thing about this program is it seems to be actually pressure sensitive. If I do it lightly, you barely see anything, and if I press harder, you see more. So that's pretty interesting with the touch screen. Now, this supports multi-touch for things like zooming in and out. You can't paint with two fingers at once, but you can do things like rotate to your heart's content, which it, it is pretty cool. But you can also use the pen with this program. Now that I like. Lastly, for you folks who are interested in the software that HP bundles their latest version of TouchSmart software, we're taking a look at that right now. More than finger-friendly icons for getting to your photos, music, videos, DVD, though there is no built-in DVD drive with this, you'd have to use an external DVD player. It does come with software for DVD playback and DVD burning. The Hulu player, that works much better than just using your web browser. It gets much better performance. Even playing full screen Hulu looks pretty good. Well, let's take a look at some of the applications here. This is the Canvas application, which is kind of like a do-it-yourself collage. So you can make your own collage, you can resize, move things in and out, make them incredibly small. Of course, HP hopes you'll print this to your HP printer when you're done. When you're done with one of these programs, you just hit the home button. Take a look at the notes app next. Now this one's kind of cool, and it reminds me a little bit of what Toshiba's been doing lately for their tablet PCs, and to a certain extent Fujitsu. Kind of like your own personal make note of it desktop. As you can see here, you can put in audio notes, and there's a the little microphone down here. You can do a little webcam video and embed it in this. You can make notes, you can resize your notes, you can move things around, make a new note down here, and you can actually do text type list items. You draw a note. There's my new drawing up. Right there. So that's kind of fun. Don't like that? Toss it in the trash can. Imagine home users will have a lot of fun with that. Weather application. RSS feeds are here. Access to the web browser and some other stuff. So that's the HP Touch Smart software. Last thing we're going to take a look at is Microsoft's Windows 7 Touch Pack, which is basically Microsoft Surface applications for tablet PCs. And we're going to take a look at Microsoft Surface Globe. This is Microsoft Virtual Earth, but with a really neat twist. You do need an internet connection for this, because like Google Maps, it's downloading the map data over the air. And this looks much better than most things you've ever seen on Google Maps. Let's pick a location you're interested in seeing. So I'm just going to write down Paris. As you can see, I can rest my hand on the screen, and there's no problem there. And it figures out my hideous handwriting. Here's Paris. Want to get in closer? There's how you do it. Want to rotate? Get even closer. 
Major cities have been enhanced graphically, so you can really see buildings beautifully. And we've got street names here, too. It's pretty fun, very educational. And it works just fine, even on the 1.3 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor. Swings around the globe, takes you to Dallas, Texas now. You get the big view. There it is. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit us to read the full review.